Now, you might be rushing to get out the door to get on your train to go into work. Well, this morning, the best and worst rail operators have been revealed. And despite customer satisfaction, we're told, going down, the prices, of course, have been going up this year, haven't they? Yeah, they have. 7,300 passengers have been asked in this survey about their journeys over the last year. And it came out that 29% of passengers said they suffered a delay the last time they travelled. Three quarters of those held up for more than an hour weren't told that they qualified for a full refund. I didn't know that either. Mm -hmm. And of the 21 companies surveyed, seven scored less than 50% for customer satisfaction. Uh, so we've been on a daily commute uh, from Haywards Heath in West Sussex with a chap called Steve Parker. He has vowed not to shave his beard until his train arrives on time. It started out as a joke. I said to some of my friends, uh, I'm going to stop shaving till my train arrives on time. And we all joked, yeah, you'll probably have a full beard by the time it gets there. 1736, due at 1743, so that's seven minutes late. I pay an awful lot of money for this ticket. You, I don't think that the British public would accept it anywhere else. Once a train does arrive on time, then the beard will go. It's been called it for the train of shame, apparently. Train of shame is never known. on time. Well, Southern Rail say they're surprised Mr Parker is not clean-shaven more often than sent the statement, saying that 74% um, of his trains do arrive within five minutes of their scheduled time. Hmm, OK, so within five minutes could still be a little bit late, well, but not yeah. a huge amount exactly. late, I guess. But However, they acknowledge their overall performance needs to improve and say they are working on it.